Hi everyone and welcome to this training video about tables in Kinko Builder software. So at first we will check the global variables table. We need to go to workspace area or from project menu we can use global variables option. With using this table we can assign some name or symbols for every variables in our program. For example, inputs, outputs, and also memories. In the symbol column, we can enter some names. And in the address area, we will enter some address for variables. For example, here we want to assign the name of motor for Q0.0. In the data type column, the type of our variable will detect automatically. Here, because Q0.0 work with bit logic format, the Boolean data type selected. For example, in the next row, we want to assign set point to reward memory. So we will write set point in the symbol and reward zero in the address. Here, this memory support word data type and integer that we can choose one of them depending on our project for example here we will continue with integer later in the main program we can use these variables with the names that we entered in the symbol Okay, in the next part, we want to check initial data table. In this table, we can set some initial numeric values for our variables in different formats. For example, real, double integer, integer, double word, word, and byte. The point is just we can use this table for V or variables memory. Okay, in the address column, we will enter the address for desired memory in the V area. And in the second column, value, we will enter the initial value for this address. Also here, we have other three columns that mentioned as value, but the point is just second column. The first column of value is used for our address. The other columns will use for next addresses after the address that we entered in the address area. Okay, for example, we will use vword0 as an example. Then in the second column, we will enter value of 20. Also, for test, we will enter in the next columns 40 and 60. As I mentioned before, the result is in this way. The initial value for vword0 become 20. And next memories after reward 0 will become equal to 40 and 60. It means reward 2 become 40 and reward 4 become 60.
Okay, in the next part, we want to check cross-reference table. So we can go to workspace area, or from the project menu, we can choose cross-reference. Okay, in this table, we can see all of the memories that we used before in the program. In another word, it is very useful when we need to find some address where used in the program and what is the symbol. The data in this table will create after we compile our program. And after each compile, if we don't have any error in the program, this table will update. It is very clear that in the address column, it will show the list of addresses that we used in our program. If address have some symbol, it will show here again. And also in the position column, the position or network that we use this address will indicate. And in read or write column, it will show us that we used this address to read something or we wrote something on that. Also, we can right click on this table and go to options. Then we can filter memory types that we want to show in this table. Okay, let's go for one example and use these tables. In this example, we want to, after pressing a start, the motor number 1 become turn on and also the value of 20 from set point memory move to reward 100. Okay, for writing this program, we will go to global variables table and assign the name of start for M0.0 memory. Then we will use different instructions to complete our program. Okay, first we will save our program and then compile it. And if we don't have any error, we can download it into the CPU. Here I have one error that the real CPU hardware on my table is different with the CPU model that I choose in the hardware configuration in the software. I change it and then compile and download the program. Then I will go to online monitoring mode to check my program. As we can see here, by enabling the start button, the output for motor 1 is activated and also the value of set point memory or reward 0 that was 20 is moved to reward 100. Also, we can check in cross-reference table and go to options and active all memories to indicate in this table. Thank you for your attention to this part.